Hey, hey guys, so the, the next game we're going to play is called The Rectangle and, uh, and it's an inner circle fielding game. So we've got two teams of three and so we're going to have uh, one team fielding, so um, either off side or leg side here and the other team will be batting and because it's a team of three, the, one of the batters will also be feeding the ball. So it'll be an underarm and the game is uh, for the batters to keep the ball within the rectangle. Okay, and the fielding team, your job is to run them out. So essentially we're going to do three overs, so after six, six underarm sort of throwdowns, I guess you'd call it, well the, the batter will swap with the, one of the batters will swap with the feeder and so forth. And so five points for a run out or a catch, uh, minus one point for a misfield, or, or that's something to do with backing up as well, you know, if you misfield on the backing up, um, and also minus one if you hit it outside the rectangle. And obviously when you're batting, it's going to be more of a drop run game, so one run for every run you get. And if you need to run two runs, two runs. Any questions? Pretty simple, right? Cool. What are we wanting, what are we wanting to be thinking about when we're playing this game, if you're the fielding team? Picking up. Say that again, sorry. Great, great. Attacking the ball, right? Yeah, backing up. Communication, it's also key. Cool, so let's get out there and have a go, eh? Sweet. Increasing the size of the playing area for this rectangle game will make the game much tougher for the fielding team and a little easier for the batting team. However, increasing the number of fielders involved could really challenge the batting team.